The Tour de France is live and on demand on GCN Plus, each and every stage, available to watch wherever you want, whenever you want. The when was the 14th of July, France's national day, so there were big crowds out at the start for a stage that would take the riders into the Jura mountain range. A stage finish at Grand Colombier, last time it was visited was during the 2020 pandemic edition of the Tour. Tadej Pogacar had been the stage winner. This time it was a short stage, just under 138 kilometers, but the slopes at the end still beastly. Many in the black there above 10%, Lots of changes of gradient, some spectacular scenes on the way up. A perfect stage for the 14th of July. Bastille Day, a party in France. Would there be a party for the French fans? Well, it took a while before the break would be formed. Attempt after attempt after attempt, taking almost 40 kilometers to go in the end. Eventually, a few French names would be up there, 20 riders in the end, it would finally whittle itself down to 19. UAE Emirates seemed to have a plan behind though and didn't really want to let the breakaway have its day. They were controlling when the gap was just a minute. A long day in the peloton for several, including Caleb Ewan already at the back. 50 k's to go onto the intermediate sprint and the breakaway having 2 minutes and 14 seconds. At this point, a victory looked impossible. That soon was allowed to grow, though. The break working for the advantage on the descent, dropping Piala Tour along the way, and then starting the climb for a second stage finish in the history of the Tour on Grand Colombier, a spectacular sight. Just under four minutes then, the advantage as they started the final climb. And behind, Ineos joining UAE Emirates and Jumbo Visma getting ready. Quentin Pache was the first to launch his attack. That split the group up. And UAE Emirates were doing the same to the GC group. The gap's still good at this point, 352. As Michal Kwiatkowski originally dropped, made his way back onto a leading trio, passed them and started to build a gap. Half a minute with 10 k's to go, over three minutes on the yellow jersey group, he perhaps could start to dream. Mohoric had come to the group behind, but they weren't getting any time back. Approaching the final five kilometers in almost a minute of a gap, and still 218 on the yellow jersey group, but with Pogacar and Vingegaard there, anything was still possible. Michał Kwiatkowski, the former world champion from Poland, arriving in the final two kilometers with a good gap. And at that point, Adam Yates started the party in the GC group. Kuss was allowed to close the gap. Pogacar followed, Vingegaard was there. Would Pogacar finally launch his attack? Perhaps, but not in time to deny Michał Kwiatkowski. A second tour stage win in his career. Kwiatkowski with one of the victories on an illustrious Palmares. Ineos Grenadiers winning on Bastille Day for back-to-back -back years. Then we had the moment we'd all been waiting for. 450 metres to the line, Pogaccia launched his move. Initially, Vingegaard able to follow, but then the gap opened. Pogaccia had already taken seconds back a few days previous. He did the same here. Third place on the stage, four bonus seconds, a further four of a gap, eight seconds taken off and just nine seconds now on the GC. Michal Kwiatkowski took all the headlines though, congratulated by Tom Pidcock, another man who put in a very good performance in the GC. Ineos Grenadiers had lost Ben Turner to illness. Caleb Jürn had also failed to finish the race. Two more riders down, one though at the very top, Michal Kwiatkowski with one of the best wins of his career. Bochil second, Pogaccia, then Vingegaard, Pitcock in fifth place. Vingegaard still in the yellow jersey though. The gap reduced, heading into the Alps. More favoured terrain for him with the longer climbs, but it's nine seconds now. Pogacar's lurking, Hindley's in third place, Rodriguez and Yates fourth and fifth. And so to the Alps we go. Starting in Anmas, 
and heading up to Morzine Les Portes du Soleil. Big climbs. Three first cats at an all category climb, followed by a descent off the Col de Jouplan and a big finish in Morzine. You can watch all the action as it unfolds with the Tour de France in play, live and on demand on GCN+.